but I mean, the thing is, we've come off the highs, but it's not kind of one way or anything of that sort at all. Uh, it's balanced. Cummins India reported a strong set of third quarter numbers. Uh, I mean, there was a beat on estimates. The revenues are up 26%, but margins are the real uh, sort of kicker. EBITDA, in absolute terms, is up 52% as well. The company's witnessed strong demand from end markets like uh, data centers, commercial real estate, rental, healthcare, telecom, mining, and railways. Ashwat Ram is managing director at uh, Cummins India. He's joining us right now to take some uh, questions. So, good morning. Great to have you with us here. Thank you very much for your time. I want to just start with, uh, you know, margins, which have come in at 17.5%, uh, and they were under 14%, uh, same period last year, same quarter last year. Uh, the margins are the highest since F5-14. Could you tell us if these margins are sustainable? What should we expect going forward? It's certainly our attempt to sustain the margins. So that's what I guess we are getting paid for. Uh, margins are better because of a couple of reasons. One is uh, uh, we had uh, very significant commodity increases in the last uh, uh, two years. And uh, uh, to combat that, we've uh, taken quite a few price increases. And uh, some of the commodities have started to soften over the last uh, couple of quarters. So mm -hmm. in the previous quarter, we saw the positive impact of... Uh, commodity softening, holding the price uh, increase, and continuing to focus on uh, cost and uh, being a cost leader. So the combination of all of those three activities uh, has led to better margins. All right. Uh, hi, Mr. Ram. Uh, uh, good morning, and thanks so much for speaking to us here on CNBC TV 18. You know, in terms of the margins of the past quarter, I had a particular question on other expenditure. Now, your revenues are up by close to around 11%, but other expenditure was lower by close to around 4%. I was going through your con call as well, and you said there was some element of one-off. So my question to you is, what was? could you quantify what was uh, that? You know, if you could give us a quantum out there. And what should the other expenditure look like going ahead? As a percentage of sales, for the past quarter, it came down to sub-8%. Prior to quarters, it was between 8 to 9% on. Go ahead, sir. Quantify that other, uh, you know, in other expenditure, what was the one-off? Yeah, the uh, other expenditures... Uh have got multiple uh, line items. Uh, they've got, uh, you know, sales uh, commissions. They've got one-time uh, charges, et cetera. So uh, this, uh, this one was uh, related to uh, some uh, intercompany uh, royalty payments, et cetera. And okay. uh, those have gone away for this quarter. Okay. All right. So what was that? Uh, I mean, how much, uh, what was the quantum of it in this total? I can't quantify the exact exact number over there. I, I don't have it uh, with me. Uh, I okay. should be able to provide it in the future. But uh, uh, but the, uh. the that was a major, uh, major portion of the, the uh, other expense difference uh, last quarter versus this quarter. And will you will you say that it's a one time uh, a number or you know the, whatever benefit you got will it continue in the time to go ahead the intercompany royalty or you know the a couple uh, of line see, items see, that you're talking uh, about? see the the other expenses has got multiple categories and so it's very difficult to say that the, this exact uh, advantage which we got in this quarter will continue but our mm. uh, our uh, uh, objective continuously is to try to keep, uh, you know, working on all costs in all areas and uh, mm -hmm. to continue to uh, to maintain or improve our profit margin. So, okay. so I, I can't say exactly the, you know, that it will be exactly in the same way. But uh, of okay. course, it's our endeavor to try to uh, optimize and maximize the profitability. Got it. Okay. You know, then what should the margins look like, Mr. Ram? You know, because as you said, Input costs cooled off, but out of nowhere, China reopened, and I track the commodity prices very closely. They have started moving up yet again. So what should be the sustainable margin band that the street should work with? Uh, see, the, the margin we have achieved now is amongst the best. Uh, like you mentioned, it's the highest margin we've achieved in quite a few years. And this yes. is the level of margin I think uh, we are trying to hold. Uh, commo commodities certainly <coughs> are a worry because while some commodities have softened, others have started to uh, increase. And with China starting to bounce back, there is a fear that uh, commodities will uh, increase again. So uh, we need to, which means we may need to hold the prices and uh, uh, also need to continue to work uh, on cost optimization. Mm.
Can you tell us a little bit more about the export revenues? Uh, this time there was, I think, a 25% pickup that you saw and a little over 540 crores. But are you witnessing any slowdown in any of the export markets? And is this a run rate that you can maintain even in Q4 and in FY24? So we have now maintained this run rate for a couple of quarters. And uh, certainly, uh, it's uh, we sell product in 140 countries around the world. And mm -hmm. so the story is not the same uh, everywhere. Uh, there are some markets uh, such as in uh, uh, Africa where realization uh, is getting difficult. Uh, Europe certainly uh, is uh, slowing down a little bit, uh, but other markets in uh, Asia, markets in Latin America, North America, those uh, continue to be strong. We remain optimistic that we'll be able to continue this level of export growth primarily because uh, the power generation market, which is our main export area, has come in from, uh, has had multiple years of uh, slowdown in the past. And so we think the growth that we have gotten should sustain at least for uh, a couple of years before it begins to uh, normalize. So despite this so slowdown that you're saying, you, uh, yes, got that. Just in terms of numbers, Mr. Ram, despite the slowdown that you're seeing in Africa as well as in a couple of other pockets, you'll still maintain that 500 crore per quarter run rate in the export revenues? Yeah, we are attempting to do that. So uh, like I said, there may be okay. a few quarters uh, up and down a little bit, but our goal is to try to do that, try to, uh, uh, try to see if we can even grow it even further. Uh, so right. certainly that is our own internal ambition to uh, maintain the export revenue. Uh, were it not for some uh, very significant geopolitical issues or some, uh, you know, very big uh, meltdown, I, I don't see a, a very big concern at this time uh, as far as maintaining that. All right, Mr. Ram, thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure. Appreciate you joining in uh, with that perspective. Uh, always great having you with us here on other channels. Thank you. Thank we are at the low point of the day, by the way, mind you, on the Nifty. We are 